Good evening. On behalf of Three Sheets Nation, the place where drinks come true, we welcome all of you to the podcast, Three Sheets to the Mouth. We're gathered here tonight around the adult beverages to share a drink, to share a thought, and to share news. We hope you enjoy our story tonight, Erections of Earth. Sorted, but you'll be rewarded when at last I am given my dues. And in justice, deliciously squared, be free, free. Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode number 266 of your favorite podcast, Three Sheets the Mouse. <laughs> I'm hyping it up, guys. I'm hyping it up. I'm bringing, I'm Go bringing the, uh, the flavor. Where the podcast likes to focus on the adult side of Disney, from parks to movies to dining, we'll cover everything Disney has to offer, including their drinks. I'm Mikey, and tonight, spinning all the stacks of wax, we got uh, Maria. Hi. <laughs> what is that? A, is that was that a radio DJ spinning mu- stacks yeah, of wax? Yeah, because mu- wow, because the albumins were used that... to be made from from wax. Oh, or, or I mean, to okay. an extent. I mean, wax was used in the process. And with the traffic and weather, we have Adam. <laughs> How's 405 looking, Adam? Oh, it's a mess tonight. There was a major accident. Multiple people are dead. Getting shipped straight to the Roadkill Cafe. And on to you, Maria, with the weather. <laughs> Our meteorologist, Maria Miller... That's- <laughs> it's it's a balmy 32 degrees here in central PA. <laughs> Winds in the east, mist coming in. Like something's brewing about to begin. Sounds moist. Keep keep keep, keep going Shut with your with your with your, with your with your poetry there. <laughs> My Mary Poppins. Oh. That's what it's from. Yes. Where did you think that was from, Mikey? This is going to be the whole episode, isn't it? No, <laughs> oh, I, I really, Jesus. I wasn't, I wasn't listening that hard. Oh. I just, oh, it rhymes, and I didn't really pay that much attention to what uh, super Roger mystics. Uh, Maria, are you, are you saucy? Uh, no, not tonight. Oh, that's right, because it's whatever. Yeah, I'm trying not to drink during the week. But that was a lie. Why? Cause... Oh, because the other day, yeah, no, that's true. So <laughs> when was that? Was that Tuesday? I don't remember. It's been a, it was I just Tuesday. remember it was seeing it on Facebook. This has been the longest fucking week of my entire life. I swear it's it's taken a whole month to go this this week. Um, but no, I'm not I'm not drinking anything. I just have a a polar seltzer uh, ruby red grapefruit. Probably it's needs fine. gin in it. <laughs> It, it does. It needs gin. It needs vodka. It needs alcohol. Yeah, it does. Well, so. good for you for really sticking <sighs> sticking to your guns. Yeah, I'm trying. Adam, trying to give trying to give my liver a break. Yeah, it, I I honestly feel it's been the longest month ever because yeah. it just doesn't seem to want to end. Something about this month. <laughs> it's for the last couple of years that it's just know. been fucking sucky. Didn't they announce like the whole COVID shutdown in March? Yes, they did. Something about this month. So no. I am drinking, and I am having the Iron Reed Empire Rye whiskey, but the bottled and bond version this time around. Which I lo- I'm really finding I really like bottled and bond whiskeys. Yeah, there's something I really like to taste in them. Cool. Um, where did you get that from? I don't think I've heard of that. Yes, Brand you before. have. Have I? You bought All it right, out of the I... car. <laughs> God, at the barbecue here. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Okay, <laughs> Mikey, go ahead and tell us what you're drinking. I I picked up a uh, a, a Maria approved sampler pack. Uh, oh yeah, no. oh, not really sweet. because it's not seltzer; it's actual beer. Um, 
Oh, okay. Okay. It's a local brewing out of Little Rock, Arkansas called Lost 40 Brewing. It was kind of a cool 12-pack. It, it has three beers in it that they list, and then the fourth beer is Brewer's Choice. So they, it's a mystery beer, so you it, you, do, you don't know it's a blind open. And what it is is uh, we didn't move enough of the Christmas beer. Yep. <laughs> so we're going to throw it in there. But... You know what, though? That's kind of smart. It's the best tasting beer of the bunch for me. Um, it is called Have an Ice Day because we don't get snow here. We, we get fucking ice. Um, it is an IPA. It's a piney red IPA. It says chill, resinous, and citrusy. I don't think that's how I would ever describe a beer if I wanted it to sell. Um, resinous? Yeah, like resin, like pine tar. I don't, I mean, yes, you get pine off of most IPAs. I don't really get the citrus. It tastes great, though. I really like it. And it's... Well, I get pine and citrus off of almost every IPA I drink. Yeah, that actually sounds pretty but good. Standard. Unlike most of the IPAs, yeah. this one is... Looks like an Irish red. That's it. Yeah, I wonder what they did to make it red. <sighs> Food coloring. I don't know. <laughs> Whoop it. I could have <laughs> read it number five. So anyway, yeah. Um, that's that's that what I'm good. rolling with. It, it does it is, sound good. It is very good. It's good. You know what's not good? Tardiness. Yeah. Being late for reservations. <laughs> or flights. Or flights. Weddings. Funerals. Oh. Yeah. Don't be late. To Unless those. it's your own. Well, then you can be late if you want. Cycles. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Races. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 But that never happens in the bubble. Disney, uh, time moves differently there, right, guys? Backwards. <laughs> 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 it's wibbly wobbly right at him. <laughs> no, you have no idea. Wait, it's one o'clock. Everything's fine. I have like a bunch of time. How did it become five o'clock? <laughs> yeah. So this week, um, we uh, did a little data mining from our uh, Facebook group, and then we've got a few stories that that we're gonna share. Some personal experiences on. Uh, just kind of cutting it close, uh, you know, with with Disney, with with travel, with uh, reservations uh, and stuff like that. And I mean, it. it uh, I got a few uh, anecdotes. It, it's it's weird though because I feel like this was more likely to happen when the uh, ride, when the, when the Fast Pass Plus was was a thing because then then I would have had that scheduled and. I would have had the the glory that is arguing with my wife on whether or not I can do one more thing before we have to absolutely leave to go to the other side of the park and not miss uh, to get your not fast miss our pass. fast pass. See, I want to say they were really a lot more generous with the pay, the old school paper fast passes. Well, like if you had one, you can almost walk I'm on any just ride. The plus the the digital version. Uh, where you you know you mean they, they always said you had an hour after the time. But we were always, you know, dawdling, Cutting it having, close. having a good it time. Like, it was like five minutes before and 15 minutes after. No. Oh. Your hour. Oh, oh. No. Your... It was, I thought it was, it was more than that. For the digital? That. For the yeah, fast passes that you more. would book? No. Uh-uh. Like it was... after I thought it was more. Before I know it was no. me. And sometimes even the five minutes before they wouldn't uh, I think on. I right, think yeah, no, that the hour after is, is probably how long it takes before it drops and you could book. If that was your your third, then you'd have to wait for it to drop before you could rebook. Right, or you could cancel it. I think, but, too. Uh, but yeah. not not that we were ever that 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 was never an issue. But that would have been the only time I can think of it being more of an issue because you had more planning that you did during the day and more reservations and and, and shit to work around. Right. I, mean, I was the one who'd make three reservations and never use all three. Yeah, towards the I, once we started going more often, we didn't typically use all three or I would go in and change them to something that we would want and did use. Oh not me. I would I would crank through them and then go to that stupid kiosk and uh and rack up another one just as soon as I finished. I mean you couldn't crank through them because they were structured you see, so I you kinda miss but... I'm not gonna lie, I kinda miss the old school kind of fun running to the machine and getting the paper fast pass. It, it was there's a small victory about it though. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'd much prefer that than I'm whatever. I'm at the point now where I don't need to run anywhere. <laughs> no, but it, was, it was sort of like a victory thing. Yeah, so, so no Amazing know. Race with you and I, Maria, then? No. 
no, I'm not doing the Amazing Race. <laughs> no, you can fuck off with that bullshit. We've got many responses from our amazing uh, community, facebook.com slash group slash three sheets to the mouse. And uh, we're going to kind of share some of their stories. We're going to share some of our stories. And hell, I may end up making up some stories just to keep it interesting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do we want to start with uh, what we have? Well, let's read the post first so everybody knows what we actually asked And, and who, who made the post? Um, oh, I well, did. if you could use your because... voice, then that'd be great. Yeah, sure. Okay. Let's hear what you had to say. So, okay. So, so Tim That's and Adam that. and I uh, and Todd, of course, um, <laughs> met up with, with Erin Marie this past weekend and her fiancé, James, her friend, Jess. Um we went to a comedy show and we were drinking beforehand no. and we were talking about um, Disney close calls, like all of the stupid shit that we that has happened to us. Me mostly. And totally. <laughs> not. Said, no, Aaron was no. Aaron was well, Aaron. Aaron is definitely the queen of close calls, um, which I actually don't think that. We she, have she did one not. from her. Which she means not. you've got to keep she that story decide. secret. Yeah, she couldn't decide which one was best, is what she said. So I posed a question to everyone on the group. It said, give us your close calls on your Disney trip. Did you almost miss a reservation, a flight, Uber, etc.? Give us those close calls. And I told people that they could private message one of us for some added mystery. I started us off. So I'll share the first one that was posted since it was mine. This was at the very first sheet up that I ever attended. We almost did not make our Whispering Canyon reservation with the entire group because Todd and Lauren Trossel and Chris Trossel and Josh Wozni and I decided to take Disney transportation from Animal Kingdom Lodge to the Wilderness Lodge. I want to say you all started out late on top of this. No, we started out on time on top of it. Actually, we were early because um, we had talked about Josh does not like to be late for anything. It gives him anxiety. So we had talked about all of the different ways that we could get there and what would be best. And we had all settled on the buses. Wrong decision. <laughs> Because we got stuck in traffic because it was dinner rush. So, and it was shift change at that point as well. So, we were on the bus right when shift change happened. People were going into the Magic Kingdom area because we had to take a bus from Animal Kingdom into Magic Kingdom and then from Magic Kingdom to the Wilderness Lodge, which is what we ended up doing. It was terrible. So I, what I what I heard is you it was it, it's not so much the transportation as it was the poor planning to use said transportation. Yes. Maybe if you had yeah. to spend so much time talking about every possible way you could go to get there and just gone there. Touche. We were going to drive Chris's truck, but then he wasn't going to be able to drink. And it was it was just like a whole. And then Todd was like, "Well, I'll drive your truck up. But I'll drive your truck back. It's not a big deal." And he was like, "I don't know if I really want you driving my truck." <laughs> and then there was a we could have taken a lift, but we would have had to get a bigger one. And it just it was a clusterfuck. But we did get there eventually. You all were already sad. Yeah, yes, because we had no choice. Right. Actually, I want to say we already sat in not like our first round of drinks. Uh, probably. Mm-hmm. Yep. And and then the the five of us got sat at the reject table. Yep. They <laughs> Which had was their all own little table. You know, we did. We had, had our own you been on table. time, I might remember actually meeting you. That's probably why you don't. Um, <laughs> well, had she been on time, we probably would have had other people in a whole other table because we said, we don't know where they are and we haven't heard from them. So we gave up your spots to other people. Yeah, no, that's, that's <laughs> totally understandable. But I do thank you for the cornbread. You I are don't think so. She welcome. was even there for that. That part. was fair enough. I'm not. I'm not sure if I no. was. 
because that was at the very beginning. No, 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 no. I was there for his pile of cornbread because that was towards the end of the meal. No, because was at then the they brought out. No, it was towards. It had to have been towards the end, because then they had to clear the cornbread to bring out Sydney's birthday cake. No, the cornbread was still there at that point. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, then it was at the very, saw, because they I served the, the cornbread effects. at the beginning before you actually get your yeah. meal. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. That was, and I, I saw the after effects of said cornbread. That was when we had cast members and other guests chanting chug, 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 chug for uh, Sydney's uh, beer she had. Yes, because she wasn't going to drink. She said she wasn't drinking the, on her yes. birthday. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> we are not enablers. We are not enablers. We're facilitators. <laughs> yes. Makes it sound better. <laughs> it's not, but it makes it sound better. It helps me sleep at night. Well, Maria, that's a fun story. <laughs> There's a pattern with these sheet up ones that, for some reason, I'm always there on time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not always there on time. <laughs> I try to do better. And then we get yelled at that somebody didn't get to hand out tokens. <laughs> hmm. That's because you, you show up late. keep them. No, that's because you keep them from me like assholes. No, dear. Yes. <laughs> no, dear. I'm by the going, time you I'm going with that, I'm, yeah, that's by what the I'm time going. you get there, we probably no. handed out the stash we exactly. took with us, <laughs> and it's too late by that point. <laughs> Lies. Uh huh. All right. Are you sharing one or are we reading one? I see. My problem is I really I'm. I'm very OCD, as most of you know, and it's, I really don't have that many mishaps. I mean, the biggest mishap we talked about, I've talked about a bunch of times, and Tim has brought up numerous times because it was my mistake, was me back in the day when we all used alarm clocks. Mm. So we're going back. I mean, before we used our phones to do everything, we, they used to have alarm clocks in the room for you, and the, I set the alarm clock almost two hours before the time we had to get up and we headed to Hollywood Studios at that time and we had to sit in front of Hollywood a closed Hollywood Studios for like an hour and a half before it opened <laughs> you didn't notice what time it was before you left the room on what a clock where the, the one you said everything still closed because it still was still we were trying to get there for rope drop, so nothing would have been open anyway. It wasn't. So there. wait, was there a was there a bus? Yeah, that ran two hours before opening. It, it had to be like it had oh to. It, after we got on it. We were there. We had to sit for a good hour. You'd and think half. the guy would have oh said gosh. something. It. They might have thought we well, had a breakfast reservation. Right. Well, that's right. And and sometimes the park used to open an hour mm-hmm. earlier for, for park guests. For, or for, yep. for like, do you remember they used to do no, those extra magic hours? It used to be right. called extra magic hours. But they used to do an extra ticketed event in the morning that got you breakfast and on that some was of the rides. Only as well. do you Magic remember Kingdom. That, that was um, only, it. Wasn't at Studios. I want to say that Amy and Derek did it at Studios one time because it was remember. right when Slinky Dog opened. That was a spe- that was some that wasn't extra that was. That wasn't a, like, I think that was just for Slinky Dog, though. Oh, maybe. The um, the other thing you talk about, they, had, they used to have, right, like, all of, I want to say Fantasyland used to open early in the yes, morning. Yes, I remember that one, too. But, yeah. Um, yeah, that, I mean, that's the only, like. But good on you for not being late. I think I think that's my big takeaway. I don't like is... being, I, I kind of have that Josh Rosny thing. It gives me anxiety to be late. I do not like being late. So how'd you guys pass the time on the curb in front of uh, studios? We didn't talk to each other. (laughs) (laughs) At that point, it was a very bad day. (laughs) Because we just sniped at each other all day long. (laughs) That's the close call. (laughs) Yeah, we're still married as the minor. I mean, I don't think we're married at this. We weren't even married yet. But um, we're still together at that point. It's like the minor. We fought the whole day i want to say just like bitchy and oh nasty gosh. because we were tired and grumpy and it was hot yeah it was our first trip together back in god i don't remember tim's better with the dates than i am but it was like our first it was our first trip together this is terrible i have i've never been, been quite that early to any event no not at cool all. 
I, say so. I guess. <laughs> it's definitely, you know, you'll never forget it because he won't let you. Oh, no. I'll never forget it. I don't think I ever heard that story, actually. Yeah, where he tells it He tells it a lot. I don't think I've ever... It, it's been on the... I know he's told it a lot. <laughs> I'm sure I've heard it, but I don't remember hearing it. That's too funny. Yeah. Anyway. Mikey, do you want to read one, or do you have uh, one of I've, your I've own? I've got one from our, our first ever trip down there, back in 2014. Me, Stephanie, and the boys. Um... It it wasn't it it was it was an, a needless kind of thing I guess uh, it was a day that we were going to Hollywood Studios and of course we've almost always exclusively done Disney transportation so we were up plenty early not as early as Adam but still plenty early enough uh, to get there I had my resort mug with the coffee in it we were staying at uh, All Star Sports and we get we get to the the bus stop we're waiting we get on the bus no big deal because we had one one goal in mind we wanted to make sure we got there early enough to get the kids uh signed up boston and keaton um signed up and registered for jedi training academy oh right and uh because they only allow so many people in there and it, it, was, it, was, a, it was a hot thing going on and uh you know i want to say they also used to do it a lot less times than they offer it now. Oh, do they still do it? Yeah. Yeah, I think they only had like three times available back then. We got there early because we had breakfast at Hollywood and Vine. So that's what I told Stephanie. I said, listen, we'll, we'll get in the park early before anyone else because we got that breakfast. And when we get finished eating, we'll already be in the park and we can get over there and 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 not so much because we had such a great time at Hollywood and Vine and I wasn't allowed to rush anyone because that was because I planned everything, and she says, "Listen, when this falls apart and we start getting behind, you are not going to be yelling at everybody to hurry, 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 run, run, run to get to some place, and yelling at these kids. They got little legs. Yes, dear. So we're finishing up our our breakfast at Hollywood and Vine. We got to hang out with Handy Manny and Doc McStuffins and Jake, the Neverland Pirate guy. You know, I'm, I'm name dropping because we're tight, and um, <laughs> we leave." And Stephanie says, okay, y'all, we got to hurry. We got to get over there and get to everybody's huh. Stop it. So, no. so we, we're, we're, we're kind of, uh, we're not really running. We're, we're definitely mall walking. Uh, oh, my also, gosh. Also, like, there's not, like, an easy way to get from Hollywood and Vine to where the registration no. was for the Trading Academy. We got there. We waited in line. I mean, it. we were there. I, I don't want to say plenty of time. We got in, like, the second group uh, or whatever. Uh, which ironically, we look at our watches. Oh, well, two hours is what we got. So we literally stayed in that area for two hours just to make sure we were there with plenty of time. Uh, we saw the first group of kids go, and, and Boston and Keaton were just like grinning from ear to ear, knowing that they were going to get to do that. There's a great picture that the photo pass photographer took of Boston, not even on the stage. He just turned around and took a picture of a kid. And then walk up to, to me and Stephanie, and, and you know we we had the uh, photo the photo pass thing. But that it was it's such an amazing picture of him grinning ear to ear, you know, watching those kids. So we probably didn't have to hustle the way we were going, but and it wasn't necessarily a close call. But that was like the first thing where we felt like we had to get somewhere uh, because we wanted the kids to have that experience, and it was a lot of fun. I would absolutely. Uh, do it again as an adult. I, I kind of wish they would. Like, two different Jedi trainings. <laughs> well, they do. You just have to pay $5,000 for it. <laughs> yes. You've, yeah. yeah, I was just going to say, yeah, that's true. Yep. 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 That's too funny. I mean, it, it is an option, but... That is now 30% off if you have an annual pass. It's still $3,000. So. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, I know. It's still, still priced ninety percent of America out. You know, I, I still for anybody who is the fan right. base, no. just ninety percent of the fan yeah. base. I'm paying a thousand more bucks for Tim and I to go on a seven night cruise over a two day stay on land. Oh my god, where you don't get to go to the parks. Yeah, except for one morning. Yay! You can go. I mean, I do. Want, I'm not Studios. gonna lie. If, if money was no object, I'd do it. But I, I just can't justify right. it. Right, and that's the thing. That's what everybody says. If money were no object, I would do this. Yeah. But unfortunately, money is an object for most of us. Yes, exactly. Like, 
us. All of us. Yeah, all I mean, of us. For, for most people, there still has to be some kind of a value there. And I understand the experience right. is one of a kind, but... I mean... Mm, I, eh, I can... Eh. There's many, many, many other experiences one can have there's for that other price. experiences I can... Yeah. That's so cute, though. I can't believe she was yelling at people to get, I can. <laughs> get moving. I, 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 I vacation with Stephanie before. I, 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 I love her, but yes, I can. <laughs> that is hysterical. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get into let's get into some of the ones that our sheeters left us. Um, so the first one is from Allison Schlosser. She says, "Well, <laughs> hmm. and if and if you know Allison, she's very like animated. proper. She is, and she's very animated. So I can totally see her saying this. She goes, yep. <laughs> well." We had early pre-park breakfast reservations at Be Our Guest. We were getting ready to leave, and Ricky, her husband, uh, forgot something in the room. I was getting irritated, but, <laughs> which I could totally see her doing with him. Uh, but we finally get moving. We get to the park. We see our friends, who I thought we were surprising, but joke was on me. Ricky got down on one knee and proposed in front of Cinderella's fountain. He left the ring in the room, which is why he had to go back. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> I after I said yes, I looked at him and said, "Now we're really late for our reservation. We still got in, but I had a lovely celebratory breakfast." <laughs> I love uh, you, but first breakfast. <laughs> no, I love you, but um, we, we gotta, gotta get gotta moving. Go. <laughs> this was awesome. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah. Food. <laughs> this is great absolutely i will totally spend the rest of my life with you also i'm hungry so let's and if go. we don't if we don't get there now they're going to charge us 10 percent. i mean you, and you do realize this is be our guest so this is a very hard reservation to yeah. get <laughs> do you know what i had to do to get i can't believe you fucking left the ring in the room god oh, damn it on. rick i can oh, picture uh, my god it's a nerve-wracking thing though that i is totally so... get it Mikey, you have a funny. ring story in front of the castle, don't yeah, you? I did not forget the ring. I had it <laughs> upside down. So, 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 upside so when down. I opened, you didn't hear this story either, Maria. Yes, no, I've heard yes. this story. I just... <laughs> so, also, just, just laying it out there. Nighttime is not the right time for <laughs> a Disney castle proposal. Just you're thinking, oh, the oh. photo pass photographer is going, and they'll snap those photos. But the shutter speed's not really quick enough, and sh things end up blurry if there's movement. That being said, yes, I I, I wasn't proposing to Stephanie, but I was uh, giving her a uh, a <laughs> this is, might be even better a custom made one off uh, engagement and wedding set that that we had made or I, I had uh, I had I had made uh, for her, and um, yeah, so I hit a knee and grabbed the box out of my shorts pocket looked her in the eyes and opened it and all you hear is tink 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 as the rings fell out and hit the uh the pavement in the dark oh so there's great oh. photos of me looking for the ring because the only light source we had was the flash the camera so several photos of me finding the glint and and putting it on her finger um which i didn't i didn't i didn't i didn't get it sized ahead of time so she puts it on, Jesus. and the fing her finger immediately goes purple. In the photographs, you can see it, it looks like I am trying to amputate that thing. Like, uh, Well, it's also Florida, and it's yeah. hot, and you swell. I mean, it, it even if under best circumstances, that ring's going to be it was, tight. Uh, oh, my God. Again, an experience we'll never forget, because... That is that is a close call of a different kind. It is, uh, I guess. It's very much um, so. So yeah, just do it the daytime. Uh, check check the box first. Flat on the bottom, round on top. That's that's what I learned. Oh my god! Just the same Jesus. way I like my women. Um, <laughs> oh, <Whoa. hey. laughs> especially the ones that go tinkle on the pavement too. That's oh Jesus. Okay, Adam. Story time. I am going to apologize in advance, Macy. So I'm just going to skip that last name that's in there and just go Macy Clemens. It's probably her <laughs> maiden name, so... Uh, I'm sure it is, but... 
there are way too many consonants and not enough vowels for me to attempt to pronounce that right yep. now. So, she says, when she was a cast member during her Disney college program, she went to a kar- karaoke bar off property. They almost missed the last college program bus and were sprinting through a swamp to get back <laughs> to catch it. Because <laughs> they were in the college program. They, didn't, they couldn't afford a cab. They ran past a Buffalo Wild Wings, and everyone on the patio was cheering them on. Run, college programmers, run! <laughs> <laughs> we made, they made it on the bus, but only because they banged on the side as it was starting to drive off. So I hear that story, and I see it in my head. Oh, my God, it is and perfect. And all I can think of is, okay, so you're familiar with the movie Waiting? Yes. Okay. No. Yeah. Um, it's... Server life, basically. It was. It was. Um. It was Ryan Reynolds. He was young. It was Ryan Reynolds. Dane. One of Dane Cook's like very, very first movies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's. It's funny. Um, Justin, Justin Long Long's is in it. it. Louise Guzman's yeah. in it. Um, yeah. Anyway, random. Anyway, um, I, I, I read that and I'm think of is how funny would it be for there to be a movie about kids in a college program working at a theme park? Doesn't specify Disney or anything like that, but you know, hijinks like this happen. All yes. the time, and I just running through the swamp. I mean, just just water oh splashing. God. It's Florida. And yeah, swamp is is just yeah. Yeah, it, 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 swamp's it, a given. They're lucky they didn't get eaten by an alligator. The way I look yeah. at things. <laughs> and good on of the drunks and wild at B Dubs just cheering them on, oh, man. Okay, if there were a group of cheaters that saw this, you know damn well we would have been the one cheering them on. This is the oh. exact same way. Yes. We're offering them a drink and a ride, but yeah, no. It would have been much more. Maybe if they came back after missing yes, the bus. Yes. But... <laughs> First off, you wouldn't find us at Buffalo Wild Wings. Secondly, this is a um, good point. <laughs> it, would, it would probably be somewhere around Springs. Oh, yeah. But For that's, sure. uh, that's funny because I could totally see all that going down and just slapping the door of the bus as it's driving off. And the driver being We've like. We've all been there. No. <laughs> I will not open this door for you. Sorry. I have never cared enough to run for a bus i oh. run for the buses but like to like slap on the door and be that person oh i oh i have 100 percent done that not in disney i haven't i haven't had the need to i don't know if i've done it in disney that, i mean that's what i'm saying I, I don't think i've ever done it in disney i've you know, i've done it when like on my way to work when i worked in new york because that was the thing you did right but i don't think i've ever done it in disney all right well it's my turn I'll tell one of my stories. I almost lost my debit card in Epcot. <laughs> almost. Almost. I was with Erin Marie. Why does her name come up again? Um, I know, right? <laughs> well, well, to be fair, she's always down. Yeah, that's, yes. It's true. Um, I think this was during one of the sheet ups. I'm not quite sure. I forget why she and I were in Epcot by ourselves. As an oversight on Todd's part. We were with, I think I wasn't with Todd. I think I was, you know what? I think this is when I ran for print. Well, when I attempted to run for princess. You slapped that bus, didn't you? I, yeah, <laughs> let sure me did. In, let me in. I was like, let me please stop. Drive me to the finish line. Um, when the girl on crutches passed me, I figured I was done. It was fine. So we, we were in Epcot. We got in line for Finding Nemo. I got out of line. And I went to go do something. Took my card out of somewhere, whatever. Put my phone away. And I was like, where's my debit card? Because where I had put it, it was not there. I was like, I wonder if I dropped it in the queue for Finding Nemo. So we go back. Wait, to, can we can we what? stop for a second? What? Why do you have your debit card out in the queue for Finding Nemo? So when I used to wear this shoulder bag, it it had like a phone pocket right in the oh, front, okay. and I used to just keep my debit card in there when okay. I was in the parks. So I, I was just that's the only reason why I'm like, when there's I, not much to buy there. <laughs> I I assumed I went to go put my phone away and I was like, oh, my debit card is not here anymore. So I thought that when I was in the queue, I had taken my phone out for something. I was like, it must be in the queue. So we get we 
walk back. Aaron's like, I'll come with you. No problem. We'll find this. She fucking has her phone out and the flashlight. And we are pushing past people in the Finding Nemo queue after we have gotten off the ride. We're like, excuse me. We're looking for a debit card. Where's the debit card? We get all the way to the front of the fucking ride. We pushed our way through that entire line. We were like, nope, not here. Got to go back. Pushed our way throughout the back, all the way out the back of the queue. Went out the front entrance. We were like, okay, let's go over to guest services. Maybe it got handed in. And we go up to guest services and I'm like, I'm so sorry. I lost my debit card. It looks like this. It's from this bank. Here's my name. Do you think you have it? And she's like, nobody's turned in a bank card yet today. I was like, oh my God, like, what am I going to do? I have no way to pay for anything. And Aaron's like, don't worry. I'll, I'll, just, like give you money you can venmo me later like whatever or paypal me later i don't even think venmo was a thing yet she's like you can paypal me later and the lady's like let me just go back and just maybe somebody just turned it in thank god someone had literally just brought it in like they i did i flat so out lost flat it, out. it that... was in front of spaceship earth they picked it up and they brought it in Okay. Okay. Oh no! Yeah. It, you didn't I almost lost lose it, it. But the Maria. close call you lost was that <laughs> I almost didn't get it back. It was terrible. I was like, "Oh, thank God!" And so that was. You know what? I was by myself. That was the first time I traveled without Todd, and he's like, "You're never traveling without me again." Well, it only got it. It only got worse for me. And there. you should have listened. <laughs> well, that's like uh, on that same vein. I mean, yeah, yours was serious, but mine. I mean, it, it is. Uh, Boston lost his uh, autograph book on our first trip down there. Oh. That was that was full of signatures in his uh, his little drawstring bag that him and all, all three of the boys had. And they all three had their own uh, autograph book, and uh, yeah, he he left it on the bus. Um, we had we had rope dropped to fireworks at the Magic Kingdom, you know, commandoed that, and he fell asleep on the bus ride back to our resort. And it wasn't until later that that evening going to bed, he didn't have his backpack, which had uh, his, uh, his 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 book in it and everything. And so I went down and talked to, uh, you know, customer services, guest relations, whatever they got down there. And they're like, well, you should check the uh, lost and found for the transportation, you know, and they told us what number to call. And she says, but hang on, let me talk to my uh, supervisor. And uh, the, the girl in, in charge of guest relations there went ahead and comped him a brand new autograph book out of the gift shop Aww. with ink pen and stuff so he could continue getting autographs. That's and sweet. then we called and checked for his uh, book every day. And literally the day we were leaving, we were loading up, packing up to drive back home. She calls and they say, yeah, we had this just turned in today. And we were able to get it back, but it, it literally took 48 hours wow. <laughs> for it to sh- turn up. But uh, he got it back, so we got all of the, uh, you know, autographs and then the new ones and, you know, uh, a fun story about pixie dust and and stuff like oh, that. That is a close call. Granted, yours was only your debit card, but this was serious. <laughs> I know, man. right? I want to say Disney does an amazing yes. job with their lost and found. Yeah. Considering the size of the resort... And for the amount of items that have to get turned in, I'd be like 24, 48 hours is mind blowing. Not you even, it was not even an hours. hour. It was less Literally. than an hour. And you had yours in 24 and it's an autograph book. How many autograph books must they find to figure out that this was your autograph book? I mean, these are the things that I don't think any yeah. other company can hold the candle too i mean it was nice that we were able to perfectly describe the drawstring bag and it had his name embroidered on it but all right well the same whatever time, it's okay i mean but still listen it's a close call i guess so look i didn't know that i had that one way to go maria way to go adam what else did you lose oh we'll get to that i uh, uh, this is where I kind of run out of my own stories, yeah. so I'm Order going the to the Facebook page. The next one. <laughs> so we have Taylor. I'm going to kill you for and, the and last George. name again. Keptarian. I know, it's Taylor. Say yeah, the Keptarian. last name. Captarian. There you go. 
I am not good with last names. I am not good with pronouncing things, but Taylor and George. George and Taylor were like 20 minutes late to, to be our guest reservation, and they were running to get there on time. They still let us step in, though. But they're pretty good with that. 20 minutes isn't too bad. Another time, they tried to get into Hollywood Studios so he can snag a mobile queue for Rise, and she just had knee surgery. So she was hobbling a bit, oh. and they didn't make it by one minute. Those I mean, are if you could have just painful. dug a little deeper, like oh, you didn't stop want. Stop it! Shut up! <laughs> I'm, oh, that's I'm not. Kidding. Right. Oh, please. Okay, I'm well, kidding. No, I that's did. not right <laughs> at all. Um, Ashley Harper wants to know: Does losing a kid count? Hundred <laughs> percent. Well, I can ask my sister-in-law. She didn't give that story. She, you lost a kid, or well, I, I guess not you. She story. lost a kid. Your sister-in-law lost after, a kid after after Fantasmic. Which leaving Fantasmic is that's a bad, 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 bad. Yeah, it's just Holy it's shit. meat sweat for you know what, though? 200 yards. I can totally understand losing a kid. To Disney's credit, though, we did recover her in in in, in about eight minutes. They were able to to get to get it all because it was it was very fascinating for me as a a parent on the outside, but still just close enough to have a modicum of uh, you know concern for it. See, see, see it go down and right. just look at the logistics and how things were happening and the little light up things being raised up and talking to their their, their shoulder microphones and stuff like that. And and then, whoop. Well, you know, in Disney, they don't call it lost children. They call it lost adults because the kid is probably yeah. knowing exactly where they're going. I did. Yeah, I have heard that. I forget where I'd heard that. And it's been a while. But yes, I do remember. Yeah, I, I would I say uh, coming out of the park. One fewer than you went into the park uh, is, is 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 a close call there. It depends on the situation and if you're adults or not. To be fair, <laughs> I mean, we've seen a couple a couple of fights where one partner has left the other in the park. <laughs> oh, hundred percent. So, <laughs> you don't always leave with the same group you went out with, and that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> I want to hear my, st- I want to hear this story that I want to hear. <laughs> so. <laughs> There's two that I want to hear. Actually. You know what? I lost my debit card the same, the si- it was the same weekend that <laughs> I. <laughs> Almost didn't have a way to fly home. So we're sitting in fucking this. So it was Princess Weekend. Yeah, I was there yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was Princess Weekend. I didn't know what the fucking what to do with myself this Princess Weekend, apparently. Um, so we're sitting in the Wilderness Lodge. Where were we? We were in the Territory Lounge. Okay, because we had a reservation at Artist Point. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we had a reservation at Artist Point. We're sitting in Territory Lounge for a drink beforehand, and I just randomly looked at Carly, and I was like, "I haven't checked in for my flight yet." She's like, "Oh, well, just like go do it. Like it's you don't have to do it by a certain time. Just get on and do it." And I was like, "Okay." And I'm looking at it, and I'm like. Leaving Harrisburg, arriving in Orlando. (laughs) Oh my god! 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 And I get up and I'm like looking at Carly. I'm like, I've got it. I booked two one way tickets. (laughs) I don't have a way to get home. I don't have a way to get home. No, you didn't go there first because I was there when you stood up and I'm like and I saw you stand up and you had this panicked look on your I, face so I everybody like, I was literally over, I'm like, like what's wrong and I'm like I booked you I booked you runway tickets I booked you one way tickets <laughs> and I'm like okay that's okay so, you can book two one way no, tickets Adam fucking goes well after he found out that I booked two one way tickets from Harrisburg <laughs> to fucking Orlando because I booked them on different airlines because it was cheaper to do it that way instead of one round trip ticket i booked one way down on Allegiant and then the other way down on frontier apparently (laughs) not switching the tickets over from orlando anyway so i so three hundred dollars later cheaper was it i now 
Oh, in, uh, in hindsight, <laughs> no. Sure fucking wasn't. <laughs> nope, it wasn't. So, so I'm sitting there, literally internally having a meltdown, and Adam is in my fucking ear going, well, it sounds like Todd's coming down tomorrow. Sounds like to me that Todd's coming down tomorrow. <laughs> Todd's coming to Disney World tomorrow. And I looked at him and I was like, you need to shut the fuck up. I was so... I was so Before I, I put my foot so far up your ass, it comes out okay. your fucking mouth. And he was like, well, it sounds like Todd's coming to Disney World tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, no, well, stop. actually, I probably, I want to say at one point I started messaging Todd. Uh, you did. And asked him if he was coming. To yeah. Talk. I was drunk. Todd's like, also, Todd's like, I actually I don't ran talk the about race this. that you ran to the bus for. Yes. So... Both <laughs> of them. Probably a little sleep deprived. Both yes. of them. <laughs> I was probably at least a little sleep deprived at this point, oh, too. Oh, 100%. So. <laughs> yes, you were. Nope, you absolutely were. You may have yeah. been sleep deprived when you so... were getting those tickets. It's terrible. I think I'm. I, mean, I probably was. Well, because Aiden was not, not even. T- Aiden had just turned two. Yeah, he was a baby, yeah. baby. Yeah. So Aiden had just, right? When was that? Two thousand nineteen. I would have. I okay. Hi. Years I know. And numbers. No, I me. think it was. Uh, I think it was no. two thousand nineteen. Well, so yes, he would have been. No, Princess no? was twenty twenty. Oh, you're right. Because, because then everything came home shut sick down. As shit, and we decided that she may February. have brought yeah. the COVIDs back on the flight. I, uh, I can't believe I did that. Yeah, I can't believe I did that. Well, I, I was me. in charge of. The next one will also <laughs> still bother me. I was just in charge so of you know. getting my transportation, my <laughs> tickets, and stuff for springtime uh, in a couple weeks. And, and yeah, yes, Uh-oh. because one time I told Stephanie, hey, look, look at these tickets. And I, I showed her, she says, that's the wrong month. I'm like, oh. <laughs> so she was very concerned oh, when I bought the tickets. And she's looked at the itinerary like four or five times to make sure that I didn't pull a Maria and, and end up going down there twice and not coming back home. Or that I yep, didn't just book. Good, uh, don't look at this one's This on. one's super cheap. It is because you're going to Chicago and then Sheboygan and you don't come home until <laughs> like three days later. You don't have enough PTO time to live in the airport that long. You're not Tom Hanks. Yep. I've also been nervous about that. I'm being perfectly fucking honest. I had no business doing that. What? Buying my own tickets. I'm an idiot. I had no business making that purchase, but I did it. It's personal growth. Okay. Well, I mean, for this trip, I got super excited if we're talking about airline mishaps. And, uh, wow, Will and Tanya are going down. There's a whole bunch of people going down. And I, wow, I don't understand what everybody's complaining about. I paid for these tickets. They're like $300 less than everybody else paid. I booked the trip in reverse. <laughs> so you pulled an Auntie Maria. <laughs> So yeah, I had flights, but I was leaving from Orlando and going to Newark and then going to Newark and going back. I mean, I figured this out literally two months f- ago, though. Bo- oh, like yeah. Before it, you paid it was for two it. Month- no, I paid for it already. I just had to pay like like a few hundred bucks more to switch it. it. But, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. But All right. So it, it's not it, just it, me. That's, that's pretty bad. Uh, okay. I noticed this before I even left. I mean, I left it. I've noticed it before. I left to go to the so airport. You were to she did the notice flight. it before she I left from Pennsylvania to fly down to Disney the second time. No, <laughs> it was bad. She, right, was but she noticed it before Disney. she would have left the it second time. It was so time. bad. It was like the, <laughs> the worst. <night> before. Yeah, <laughs> literally I, the I night before. Legit before that been... I the worst so thing, bad. but at the same time, to be just a fly on the wall the next day when you went to try to get right to try to drop yeah. off my bags, and they're like, "Ma'am, what? You're supposed to be in the, Harrisburg right now. Like, you're right. That's the, where the, I'm trying to no, get to. This what are you says about? that that you're you're on your way down, but you're already here. Did you time travel? Yeah. I wish that was a thing. I <laughs> go back and smack myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So Laura Gradzinski, who 
I've been friends with this girl since seventh grade. Bless her heart. We met in language arts class. We bonded over a Muppet Christmas Carol. As one does. Yes. So, as one does. It's one of my favorite movies still. Um, she says, first morning with 15 people. <laughs> uh, seven of those 15 people are under 12 years old. Waiting for a Disney bus at Beach Club to Animal Kingdom. TV screen says 15 minute wait. Okay. My brother realizes he didn't put on deodorant. And I'm pacing because we are already late and I knew the line would be crazy. We decide to run back to the room for deodorant and car keys so that we can drive. Get the stuff. Then he knows a shortcut to come out near the bus. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> okay. okay. I have this. I have to stop here for a real quick second because everybody knows a shortcut getting out of the resort yeah, no. until you get turned around in the right. resort. <laughs> <laughs> we came out near dumpsters and I get a call that the bus is there. We book it in sandals across the parking lot, the whole way around the building, see the bus at the stop and decide to run in the driveway in front of the bus so it can't leave. We did make it all before 7 a.m. <laughs> okay. Now, I have to say that you need to go to the page. Because this one has an accompanying, accompanying video. Oh my God. That we, I mean, we have no way of posting to the podcast, and it doesn't make it's sense if we so post the audio. Funny. But watching the video is just, it, it takes the cake She's, on this one. It is They're literally running awesome. down the hallway, and she is videoing themselves. Yes, it is, it is so it is cool. It is funny. Hysterical. Um, and knowing Laura for as long as I have, and, and growing up and knowing her brothers as well, this is 100% something that her brother would do is forget to put deodorant on and then tell her that he has a shortcut. Never, never trust a shortcut. You see, my other problem here is that if this was me, I'm like, fuck it. We'll figure it out. They have to have deodorant in the park. I'll just get right. something when we're there. Right. I'm sure they do. They have to. Well, that's what I'm, I right? mean, it would be like 30, it would be like a $70 bar of deodorant. <laughs> or it's Animal size. Kingdom. But, they better damn yeah. well have some kind of deodorant in the park. It's Animal Kingdom. You know nobody wears the odor in I wear Kingdom. You've been through Animal Kingdom. But I'm not uncultured swine. Even the uncultured swine need deodorant. I, I mean, I mean I'm, I'm not even uncultured milk. <laughs> Thank you. That's just cheesy. Oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Cheese and crackers. <laughs> I'll tell a story. A me story. Go for it. Actually. And this one is this fairly, uh, fair, fairly recent, I guess. Um... Was this the one where Stephanie almost killed you when you got caught lying? When you said you were with, with Tim and James and Tim came back know, up to the room cool. and you weren't there? That is that is definitely <laughs> yeah. a close call. Not close enough, but I don't remember. <laughs> but she's involved. <laughs> um, this would have been, I think, when we stayed at the Grand Floridian. So I think it was the second because Bay Lake was first. We did a Bay Lake and then... This was at the Grand uh, Floridian. And I remember that because um, Stephanie, had, if, 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 if you know her, she has like her favorite princess is Aurora. And that, and she's always wanted to meet Aurora. And I've never been able to help her make that happen to meet Aurora because you can only really get a chance to see her at Epcot and the schedule's real spotty. Mm -hmm. So she um, got a message, I think that Aurora was going to be in Epcot that day and that the hours for the meet were this to that. I think she actually looked it up on the uh, King of the Pirate because I actually did purchase her a subscription just oh, for that right. trip. Anyway, um, so we leave uh, via monorail from the Grand Floridian to get to Epcot. And uh, it was me, Stephanie, and Matt Holmes. We, uh, we get there and she's just... Literally just runs from the the monorail through this. Th Once she gets through security, she just flat hoofs it all the way back to France, <laughs> where Aurora is, and um, she ran all the way back there solid. I think Matt and I got there. It took us probably fifteen minutes or so. I think I think she managed to get there in quite a bit less than that. Granted, Matt and I met up with some other cheaters along the way. May have grabbed a drink. It wasn't my favorite princess to want to meet it was Stephanie's but we finally get there and we see her and she is second to last in line with the cast member standing behind her you know to close it up so she literally got there at the last possible moment 
to get in line and uh, and meet Aurora. And, and you know, I, I hung out and watched my wife meet her her little uh, idol thing there, and had drinks. It's a good time to to be a part of that. That's a close call. I'm very sporty. Yeah, you yeah. weren't really yeah, though. there. <laughs> Go the opposite of support. You were kind of the opposite. You let her run by herself. I got there. So I, I would kind of call that the opposite of supporting. I was there with my phone on hand and I snapped a few photos. I was there. I was Johnny on the spot. You were Johnny on the spot after the fact. I gave her my drink. Did you like it? It was fine, but she, she earned it. I, I don't think that's what I would call supporting. <laughs> I think that was the apology I drink no for not desire. keeping I up with her. I told her at the beginning that I wasn't going to make it. And she says, I know. So, so so, I wouldn't call that supporting if you're already Listen. saying that you're not going to make it. I something. saw her meet her. I would call it, good That's luck, exactly honey. What I did. I'll meet you I there. I watched her. She met her. <laughs> it, was, it was a shared so that's moment. That's not supporting. <laughs> that's like, <laughs> that's not, no. <laughs> supporting is like. <laughs> All right, so the next one we got is from Erica Williams. Thank you for the easy pronunciation of that name. <laughs> um, Thank you for having an easy name. <laughs> yes, I, I appreciate all the easy names. So Erica got on a bus from Coronado to go to MK at 3 o'clock because they had a 4.30 reservation at the Royal Table. However, the bus broke down. The second... We turned out of Coronado. So, like, literally seconds out of the turn. They sent another bus, and they transferred over. They were almost made it to Magic Kingdom when another Disney bus hit the one that they were on. Jesus Christ. It took 45 minutes to get two more buses out. Disney security was handing out cards for them to give when they got to the reservation saying we were in an accident. We were 45 minutes late to the reservation, but because of our cards, they got it. That fucking sucks. I, I don't know if I would have had. The second the bus got hit, I'm like, yeah, yeah I'm, done. I'm done. I'm going back to the room. <laughs> Just I'm done. That's it. I'm not meant to like, be outside today. Yep, yep. I will That's take exactly my uh, park ticket <laughs> refund and my uh, and I'm and I'm done today. Um. Yeah, you can keep your little card. You're going to cancel that reservation for me. I don't want anything else to happen. Uh, I'm going back to the room. How do you plan on getting back to the room there, sir? (laughs) By bus? At this point, I'll fucking walk. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) You see, Adam fucking hitchhiking. (laughs) Oh, no. No hitchhiking. I am literally at this point walking. Bitch, I ran a a marathon through, uh, through Magic Kingdom and all that fucking resort. It can't be more that much That's more. That's true. <laughs> and I don't have a 16 minute pace requirement. That's right. So there's that. That's true. <laughs> That's rough. How I mean, you get back? I mean, at some point. Dogging. No, walk. It's, oh, no, no, at it's that a point, trudge. it's walk. And cursing the whole way back. Yeah. Oh, no, there's like, yeah. are you, I'm muttering <clears throat> to myself. I'm angry. He's <laughs> Chaucer from a knight's tale. That is just fucking, fucking horrible. <laughs> <laughs> that is <laughs> horrible. <laughs> I can't even imagine. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I would have given up. I give you credit, Erica. I hope the meal was good. Yeah, damn better damn better well be. <sighs> I'd like Jesus. to see what a picture of them card says. That like I mean it's gotta be the like the golden fucking ticket. It says please be nice to this poor asshole because <laughs> their bus gun their broke bus down broke and down. then they that got into a car accident. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not like someone else. Right. They're like, okay, we're almost there. And then Disney says, hold my, I don't know, uh, LeFou's brew. God, that's just, I mean, insult to injury to insult to another injury. Mm-hmm. Well, Maria? All right, my last one. This is the last one that's happened to me so far. Knock on wood. This better be the fucking last one. So... I'm going down. Have you met you? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's not going to be the last one. No. I mean, it's going to be the last one that I'm telling tonight because I don't have any more, but I'm sure more will happen to me in the, in the future. future. So I am, again, traveling by myself. I'm going on a girl's trip. 
I am waiting for Todd to get home from work so that I can hop in the car and drive to Philadelphia because that's where my round trip ticket is out of Philly. And it takes... So she's doing good. She actually I, bought, I a bought a round trip, round trip ticket, ticket. time. Um, from our house to the Philly International Airport, it's about an hour and a half. I don't like to get to the airport super early because I don't like sitting at the gate. Because that's when my, like, travel anxiety starts to, like, ramp up. Um, I don't like that at all. So... You see, I mean, it, it's funny to me because once I'm at the gate, I'm like, yep, hey, yep, I did absolutely. my part. I'm I can nope. just sit. Don't it, care. It starts from the second that I get in the car to the second I am sitting on the plane. Okay, so for me, the second I get in the car is a race of gets. Okay, we're at this time now. It takes us this long to get to the airport. If there's this much traffic, and that's how much until I'm at the yep. then I'm at the gate. I'm a, once I'm at the gate, it's no longer my responsibility to get to me to my next point. Yes, yeah, true. That's true. My brain doesn't function that way. So that's how, like, my mind works. Oh, you you guys don't have them things called layovers. No. <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. I could. No, I, I shouldn't say that because there are there is a close airport here yeah. that I could get a layover for, but I won't because they always want to fly me through Chicago. And I'm like, yeah, you can. Where's that at? I will I'm let them transfer. know you said hello uh, in um, a couple of weeks when I'm having my layover in when you're Chicago. Ha- when you have a layover. Uh, Chicago, I hate that. Well, I, I'm sorry. They want me to transfer planes to Chicago. It's not a layover. Right? They want me to like get off the plane and go connect. to another. No, no thanks. Yeah, no, I won't do it in Chicago. There are certain airports I would do it through. Like Georgia's not too bad, but I won't do it in Chicago. No, thank you. Because I've flown out of Allentown, which is by you guys, and that's a direct flight. But uh, that's yes. to Sanford. It is. But I like going to Sanford because it's a small airport. You can literally like show up, throw your bag at them, walk through security, and be at the gate in like yeah, five but minutes. Yeah, whatever money I I would save. It depends on how I you're spent. getting to the airport. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that that's if, the and thing. we typically it, we would rent a car through Turo. Yeah, no, I, I usually. It's. You see, I don't normally yeah. rent a car. There's no need right. for me to rent a car yeah, most of the true. time. So. It just ends up costing me an easy 70 yeah. to 80 bucks to get See, to and, and from the airport. And e- I wham, have wham, the wham, Antoinette wham. Nichols typically will pick us up. So, yeah, so it, you know, it's it, yeah, that, it, it washes it, it, out because it balances yeah, it out for you. I'm it won't balance with her, out. So she's me. like, well, I'll just come pick you up. I'm like, OK, I'm OK yeah. with that. Um, but I also won't fly that airline that you fly. Allegiant. I don't, it's fine. I don't mind it. I know, I will never fly, well, my other thing is, I won't fly a flight that doesn't have multiples throughout the day. So, for example, when I fly to Orlando, it has to have at least two or three flights that if something happens to my one flight, I can get on the next flight. Yeah, that's... Again, it's my OCD. If, If it's two flights and I miss, for something happens to that first flight, chances of me getting on that second flight is not happening and i'm now bumped to the right. next day and yeah. that would piss me off. it would yeah it would piss me off too so todd gets home i am i am i'm ready i'm out the door i give kisses to the boys i give a kiss to todd i'm in the car pull out of the garage I'm drive in i'm on the turnpike i'm probably like close to a half hour away from home and it's raining. It's ra- It's like torrential downpours. It's not. It's not like a little sprinkle. It's like fucking pouring. And all of the sudden, I realize, like, you know how like things hit you, like it just like implodes your brain, and you're like, "Holy fuck! I forgot my fucking suitcase on the bedroom floor at the house." <laughs> So I call Todd. <laughs> no. I'm like, and and I'm on the turnpike. It's not like the PA turnpike is not some place that you can just like pull over the median no. and, and pull over. Mm-hmm. No, I do. I yeah, I am literally top. going to the nearest exit to get off, which was I think the Ephrata. It's the Denver Reading exit. Eff, like 
there's a Denver PA. It's a small town. And so I pull off, I turn around, I pull back onto the turnpike. I'm calling Todd. I'm like, I need you to go and get the suitcase. It is in the bedroom. Put it in your car. Put the boys in your car. I will meet you at the gas station outside of our, our turnpike rest stop or our turnpike exit. He's like, he, he goes into the bedroom. He's like, honey, the suitcase isn't even fucking closed. I'm like, listen, I don't have time for this. I need you to just put it in the car with the boys. Don't even put socks on them. They're not getting out of the car. I'm not even, I'm going to pull up at the gas station. You get out of the car. You get the suitcase. You put it in the back of my car. I'm going. He's like, you are a fucking nightmare. So I, I speed back to my turnpike exit. I meet him at the gas station. He pulls in like maybe five minutes after I arrive. Right. He, Yells to me from the back, from the trunk of the car, don't get into a car accident. All right, cool. Bye. Okay, <laughs> bye. Bye. So I finally get to Philly. I'm like getting, I'm, I'm like getting the, the suitcase out of the back of the car. I'm like, okay, I need this and this and this and this and this. Okay, I have my keys, lock the door. I get to the elevator, like <clears throat> go down to the security to like check my bag. And I'm like, where's my phone? I left it in the fucking car. <laughs> I run back to the <laughs> car with my suitcase, unlock it, grab my phone, lock the car again. I literally, as I'm walking up to the counter to check my bag, they are calling for the last call for my flight. Last call for check bags for Philadelphia to Orlando. Hi, it's me. I'm the problem. I'm the problem. Mm. Mm-hmm. I was like, here, here you go, buddy. Hey, Maria. Yeah. Maria, what color is your luggage? So then we get off the... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so turned around at this point. I like, I get to the, I get to the gate. I am literally having a panic attack. I'm sitting on the ground. I'm texting the girls that I'm going to be with. And I'm like, this is not good. I need a mimosa as soon as I get and like I need a beer or something to drink as soon as I get on this fucking flight. So I met Casey and Sue. They're at the Orlando airport because their flight had been delayed out of Boston. So we actually ended up arriving at the same time. So they wait for me. We're by my my luggage, you know, where my luggage is coming out. We're standing there and Sue goes, what color is your luggage? Navy blue. Okay. So all these navy blue suitcases keep going by. Is it that one? No. Is it that one? No. How about this one? No. There it is. She goes, Maria, your luggage is fucking hunter green. (laughs) (sighs) Huh. So not only did she leave it at home, I, she just she yep. not even color. that she changed the color because she knew which one was hers when it came around. There was right. just a complete fucking disconnect. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, she wouldn't even say I mean No, it was Sam's and even I. Home. She was way off. Even finished. Nope. <laughs> so I get my bag. Sue doesn't even really say anything we roll it over to Casey and Sue goes Casey what color is that it's green no it's not it's navy blue it's navy blue (laughs) and Casey's like what the fuck are you talking about it's clearly green I was like can we just get in the car please where's my fucking mimosa (laughs) please just get in the car (laughs) I just want to go lay down (laughs) it was so bad such an oh awesome my story, god! That's, that's one of my I, favorites. <laughs> I literally, I think I aged like ten years that day. I was so tired by the end of that night. I, I couldn't. I, it was. Oh no, thank you. Never again. That's why you always need that OCD person to travel with. I just am so, like, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's get it done, let's get it done. And I just, I forget shit all the time. All the time. 
Well, you skip steps. Yeah, That's, I do. You get so excited I that do. you just skip. I, I... Where I'm like, everything has to be so regimented that I have a hole in my stomach by the time I actually right. get on the so plane. So this last time that I traveled by myself, <laughs> Todd's like, give me your fucking suitcase. I'm going to put it in the car the night before. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> Good thought. And then I also now also have to have Tim to make sure that like, okay, did I do this right? Is this book yep. right? Is this right? Because <laughs> the second I fucked something up once, I don't trust myself anymore. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> All right. I'm I'm tapped out. That's it for me. <laughs> so bad. I don't know. How, I don't know how to follow that up, Maria. How do you? Well, read the read the next one. No, you can't. Well, this comes from Andy Robena. It says, uh, she says, my husband, sister, and I decided to close out Magic Kingdom. And as, or as in, we wanted to be the last people remaining in the park. And we managed it. She says, as we were being followed out by uh, cast members who were so sweet and taking photos of us in a completely empty uh, Main Street posing us and everything. Uh, all was good until we got to the gates and they told us there were no more buses leaving and no more minivans. <laughs> That's why the cast members oh, were all smiles and didn't give a shit because you're on your own when you get out that security <laughs> gate. <laughs> After uh, waiting what seemed like forever, <laughs> the manager called us a bus for, for, for us and oh. two other families that were also, uh, quote, stranded like we were. Of course, the driver was not happy about it. Uh, when he took us, when he took off, he must have pressed the gas pedal with full force, activating hyperspeed and causing us to be launched across <laughs> the bus. He was flying down the streets <laughs> like we entered the grid, and we were the blue team trying to get us to the resorts each family were staying at. Right? Very, yeah. very Not apropos. And man, did we fly into the sky like riding on the back of a banshee, Zivako, with him driving over those speed bumps. It was as if he was auditioning for the movie Speed and we were his extras. <laughs> There's a bomb on the bus. As long as he didn't tell you. As long as right? he didn't tell you to move around a bit, you're okay. When we got to the bus <laughs> entry, we said thank you endlessly to the driver. And here we thought he was livid, which he was a little disgruntled at first. But after hearing all of our woes and oh shit, he started laughing and said, <laughs> keep your hands and feet inside the bus at all times. He was a trooper. Needless to say, we learned our lesson. We won't be fully, clo fully closing down a park again. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, you know, glad he had some fun with you. But I also think that uh, you'd. You yeah, you just you it. That is hysterical. I, I, I honestly feel this is kind of Disney's fault. Well, isn't it? And hear me out, because they talk about their transportation all the time. And when you rely on a transportation, you have to expect somebody's going right. to miss the last bus. Typically, it's what an hour after park closing. Typically, but if you but have a ride. Been... Like Tron is going to be, or like Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, exactly. where the line is more than an hour. Yeah, once they close the line, I mean, it's something happens to the ride. Right. You never True. know what's going to happen. Yeah. So, I, I feel part of this is Disney's fault, but I mean, we've had reverse situations happen where we're waiting for stuff and <laughs> bus ride pulls up. Where are you going? I'm like, oh, we're going here. It's like, okay, I'll drop you, you off. Can and do I'm like, that? are you sure? <laughs> yeah, it's not a problem. Yeah, no. it's like this is Disney. Do, Everything's do, do so have regimented. To file is this that allowed? Plan with someone, or, or I mean, I don't want you to get fired. <laughs> we can wait. <laughs> well, I'm glad they were able to get get out and get get back. In uh, November, when we took the boys down, we had somebody on the bus with us going back to Animal Kingdom Lodge, coming from, I guess it was Magic Kingdom. So we were coming back from Magic Kingdom to Animal Kingdom Lodge, and the couple next to us, you could hear her say to him, the next stop is going to be Animal Kingdom Park. 
so we can get off there. And he's like, okay. So we pull up to Jumbo House and they're like, is this where we get off? And they got off the van or the bu- well, bus. They got off the bus. I don't know where they ended up. Certainly wasn't the park. <laughs> you sometimes want to say something because I've been in this situation and other times it's I'm, like. It's, it's not going to make their day any better <laughs> if I tell them how wrong they are right it, now. It's just going to, anything I say at this point is not going to no. be helpful to them. It's going to cause a fight. It's going to cause an argument. I don't nope, want to be the right. catalyst. Yeah, at least they got off at Animal Kingdom. Uh, when we had our reservation for Sanaa that we left with them plenty of time to get to, um, I was waiting for that third stop at Animal Kingdom Lodge that doesn't exist. Oh, right. Yeah, there is. I, I know that say, there's only two. I thought there was a third because <laughs> Stephanie was like, where do we get off? Like, well, it's not this one. It's got to be the next one. And the next one was, uh, um, uh, was, was Dizzy Springs. <laughs> At which point he said, no, you have to get off. I'm like, but we got to just go right back. He says, I'm not going back there. And I'm like, okay. So then. Oh, I forgot yeah, about they're, this. They're, wow, you have a lot of them, Well, Mikey. you know, there's no further walk um, than, than, getting, than going from the get off the bus stop to the get on the bus oh. stop when you really need yeah. that bus to get there quick and you see it drive off when you're on your way to the get on the bus stop that and it says animal kingdom lodge so yeah we we, we did make it we got there um we got off the first stop regardless of where the hell Sanaa was located i'm like no we're getting off right now so i know we're here and she just looks at me and she says thank you but i got to see the lobby there you go so, there you yeah go. good good on him for at least getting off animal kingdom i just went all the way back to Springs. I have my own story, but I guess it, it kind of worked out good. But again, it's all due to sleep deprivation. I'm already in the world. It wasn't. It was a mistake because I was supposed to go to Animal Kingdom. And I went to Magic Kingdom because all I saw was Kingdom on the bus. So I didn't, <laughs> wasn't even thinking. But again, this is. And I, it wasn't like no. something awful. It just like it's right. stupidity. And I know I like I know exactly why it happened. I was exhausted. I was after right. running and trying to meet people at Nomad, and I just. So kingdom and like okay, <laughs> brain is gone. So I ended up heading back to my resort and giving up my animal kingdom and going to spring with Casey, Sue, and Jacqueline. So it all worked out. <laughs> but it, 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 again, like most of my accidents aren't that no. bad. However, Miss Carly, this is also Princess Weekend as well. Yeah. <laughs> it all happened that first Princess Weekend. I don't. We were we were such a mess. It was you know what it was the early days of COVID. It it was yes no, it, it was no, it was, it was before just, that. No, this was oh, awful. No, but yeah, the brain dead. I'm trying to help out Adam. I'm trying. This is also I. It, no, there there was absolutely <laughs> no helping for this one. There, did we get talk and blame shit? No, Carly was late to 1900 Park Fair at Princess Marathon weekend because she can't remember who she was with. But she was trying to get there from Epcot via the monorail and underestimated the time. And we had a bunch of hangry people. Right, because they wouldn't see your group <laughs> until all of you were there. Yes, <laughs> yes and we were. Some of you had ran. <laughs> um, was that after one of I don't the know, races? I'm just guessing. I want, I want to say was. Yeah. it had to be. But I thought this was a breakfast for some reason. But no, you guys went for dinner. I... So then, yeah, if it, it was a dinner, then, yeah, it had to be after one of the races. And, yeah, it, it was, I just remember, I'm usually waiting on people for dinner is what I've realized. Like, mm-hmm. it, if you love me, be on time for a food reservation, because I'm always, like, three seconds away from hangry. This is true. I've witnessed it. <laughs> yes. It's like, why are you cranky all of a sudden? Can you eat a fucking cracker? Food. Yeah, bring it. <laughs> yes, that's what I want. I want a cracker. Nobody yes, has a cracker exactly. for me. <laughs> cracker. It's like that She's meme that says, good. when I say I'm hungry, we got about 17 minutes. It's probably my problem. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's true. Oh, I am 100% that person. I, I, I know it. I, I will admit it. 
Ephesus. I'm skipping ahead here. James Cruz says, I remember one lady who almost missed her flight home because she'd booked two one-way trips from her home airport to MCO. Fuck off. Fuck off, James. Carly turned around and said, I wonder I who that know. was. I've never met that. <laughs> she's like stupid, though. Her. She sounds like a good time. <laughs> no, she's a dumb bitch. We can't skip over Victoria and that. Oh, yeah, go back. Go back to that one. Can't yep. miss that one because this is a sheet Oh, 100%. Because she missed her Mears bus last trip from the Contemporary because she was too busy shopping and drinking a double vodka coffee from Joffrey's. She actually she ended up actually having to take an Uber and pay. Yeah, double. those that Uber really gouges you, <laughs> doesn't it? Oh yes. man. Does the Uber make you pour your drink out, or is that just the the mirror stand? Not if you put it in a in a in a yeah. If cup they don't that you know, can't see. they don't then, care. Yeah, they don't care. Uh, hey, did you guys know um, that? Trader Sam's is actually open later than the monorails run. Me too. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You got stranded once as well. I, well, I did walk all the way to the monorail. And uh, I walk and I walk up the turnstiles or whatever it is. Like, I'm going to get on it, you know, and start waiting, whatever. I think Aaron was involved. Of course she was. <laughs> and and we get we get and I was all excited because I'd bought like the the collectors, you know the little uh, tiki shot glasses they got because I got the, the the rum flight and I'm all like yeah oh, you got the rum flight and yeah. I'm walking up there with my glasses and they're like oh 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 hey hey well what do you think you're doing I'm like I'm, I've got to get back to the uh, my resort I'm I'm staying at the Bay Lake Towers they're like yeah monorail shut down man I'm like oh really. He says, "Yeah, I'm like, well, what do I do?" I'm like, he says, I, "I, I don't know, but, but you can't take the monorail." So I walk back to uh, Trader Sam's, and thank goodness the the group I was with was still there, and I was I was able to get a ride back uh, to to the resort. I did happen to leave my 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 uh, tiki shot glasses in the car, though, and uh, didn't. Didn't you get them back the next day? I, though? I could have got them back the same day, <laughs> but as soon as soon as I got back up at the resort and, and and I got about and I, I laid down, I was I was deceased, and and my my phone was <laughs> uh, was flowing up was blowing up. Dustin Cox had brought me back and had 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 actually realized that I left my uh, my goods in his car and brought them back a second time to to Bell Services. And it was texting me, let me know, and I was just, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was unalived for uh, about ten hours, <laughs> and, and I went down there, and there they were. So good, thank you very much, uh, Justin, for looking after a, a drunk individual, uh, which happens to me apparently quite frequently, um, even on cruise ships. But that's mm-hmm. a different story that my wife loves fucking bringing up to to anybody that will listen. Here, where I live. That's not a close call. That's just Mikey overindulging. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Was, and, 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 and it is it was not a, happening again. That maybe is not it was a close again. call. She almost killed you. <laughs> All right. Let's rapid fire through the rest pew, of these. Pew, pew. Cheater in the wild. Turkey himself. John Ryan Tully. Uh, he says the 2022 Cheaters on the Seas trip. That was our Disney Wish trip we took. Uh, he says, I had booked a nonstop flight to Orlando, but took a $600 offer on a later flight through Houston. He landed in Houston to thunderstorms, and they canceled nearly every flight out. He almost had to rent a car and drive from Houston to Port Canaveral, but they were able to get him on a last-minute flight, or the last flight out. He landed it, uh, in Orlando at 2 a.m., Got to a hotel at Cocoa Beach about an hour and a half later, and then got on the boat uh, like eight hours after that. Oh okay. my God! So oh, now I, I have missed. to I was correct you. Word, I thought because our dearest friend, Mister Namduke, it's Cocoa because there's a the day at the end. It's of a Bermudian no. thing, Maria. No. I forget. <laughs> I know it's that's just that's just how it is with with how they uh, how they pronounce things. 
Okay. And I mean, it's called a boa <laughs> constrictor, so I guess it would be Krakoa <laughs> Beach. Okay. <laughs> She's just yep. going to let it Just let it happen. Just let it happen. He can say whatever he wants. Okay. Right. Okay. I just feel really bad for this oh. next one. Because Ali Cobb Scardino, she can't think of any because it's just her life at all times. <laughs> that one made me laugh so hard when I saw it. I was like, I was like, me too, Ali. Just, me too. <laughs> it, 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 it made me laugh, but at the same token, it made I know. me hurt, hurt like, her a little bit. What must your everyday it, life good. be like? I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we have people leaving their luggage like, like, at home. How do you? <laughs> Only one of us is dumb enough to do that, okay? Like, if this is her every day, how does she quantify have... a bad day? <laughs> Right? <laughs> They're all bad. <laughs> she came out with all of her limbs. That's a good she's, day. She, she just, yeah. just expects there you go. fucking ninjas around the corner to start throwing shurikens at her. Like, she wouldn't even be surprised. <laughs> fucking takes one of the shoulder like, well, it is Thursday. Uh, so That tracks. <laughs> <laughs> all right. The next one's from Catherine Marshall. She says, uh, breakfast at Ohana. Staying at Wilderness Lodge, husband is supposed to come with the kiddo, but he is making offerings to the poor. It's like God, I didn't read that part yet. <laughs> uh, get to the boat dock and find out the dock at the Poly is closed. Take the boat to the Contemporary. Get to the monorail. Monorail not monorail is not working. Take the boat to MK. Take the boat from MK to the TTR. Walk to the Poly. <laughs> All while pushing the kid in the stroller. To say we were late was an understatement, but folks at the poly treated me like a princess. Aw. Holy fuck, that is a lot to get. I would give, I would have given up. That, That's right back up there with uh, having a lot. bus put into nope. your bus after the first bus broke down. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a fuck no, I'm going home kind of day. Yeah, it get, it's not meant for me to make nope. this reservation. Yep, I'm finished, I'm, I'm out. Wow, that was persistence. Well, that, that's Holy also shit. someone who knows the ins and outs of using Disney's transportation to get around. You know, this method right. blocked me off, so I'm going to use the next one, and that one's yeah. fucked up, so we're going to go to this one, and you know what? We're just going to go, Adam, fuck y'all, I'm walking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See? You, ju- you just hit that wall sometimes. It's like, yeah, they I can't saw do this her coming a mile away when she walked in, and th- they were like, no, it's your turn. It's not my turn. Oh, no, you're handling this one. No, but again, Disney can tell when you're mm-hmm. hybrid and you're at that moment. Yep. And it'd be like, and they know like when the to turn. hell, no, Maria. <laughs> 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 Sorry. No, no, <laughs> She did it again. Stop doing that. I'm going to have to edit all that noise out. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. hurt my arm. She, she just seized. I did. She seized. Do you, do you smell? No. Okay. Let's right, keep right. it moving. Oh, Jesus. Because we're getting late. <laughs> you got this one? Yeah. Oh, me? Come on, Arthur. Okay. Yeah. Um. So... Stephen Cohen says that time that the Disney Magical Express didn't show up for two hours at MCO for some strange reason. We had dinner at, we had dinner in MK before fireworks and we looked like crazy people running up Main Street given our lateness. We've all we've all seen that. I don't know of anybody here who hasn't run to a Disney reservation like a, ride like a total or maniac. something. Yeah. Yeah. Just, Just to like, a bus. Totally Usually nuts. I'm running to a bus. Yes. And then, like, you run to the bus. You're like, oh, oh, okay, I'm here. I'm good. And then you fucking sit there for another 10 minutes. Like, why the fuck did I run? Why did yep. I run? Why did I feel the need to run? He wasn't going anywhere. Or a- but you didn't know that. That's why I don't run for the Disney buses. I don't care anymore. I stopped running for them I know, because that right? always happens. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Timothy J. Wagstaff. Close call on this most recent Disney cruise. Buddy of mine dropped his phone in the harbor at Grand Cayman. Fuck, that escalated very quickly. Jesus. We, <laughs> <laughs> we, we went around to the dive shop to ask if someone could retrieve it. No dice. We went to the harbor master's office. 
and he took us out on the boat, gave us snorkeling equipment, and the phone was recovered and is still working. The too long didn't read, drop your phone in the harbor, get a free snorkeling excursion. <laughs> <laughs> that is so awesome. Hell yes, man. Good, good, good on you there, Timothy. That's uh, one of those things that you're able to turn it around. It was me. My wife would have just looked at me and said, well, I guess you are getting another phone when we get back. We got one in the desk. Yeah, you're out of luck. No, I'm going to be on like an iPhone 11 minima. No, it, it's fine. Yep. Mikey just loses glasses. Ooh. Also in the ocean, no snorkeling gear. Wouldn't have mattered the way them waves were coming in. <laughs> And then I end up going to Disney with no prescription eyewear. I spend three days unable to see anything. I watch oh <laughs> Chris Frost will get married without any eyeglasses on. <laughs> I hear Lauren look beautiful. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it was on a Disney resort. So you yeah. That's true. Yep, Disney. yep, 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 yep. That's not even a close call, though. That's like a... You fucked up. That's an oops. Yeah. And I walked up and down the beach just hoping I could find them scratched sons of bitches on the sand, but uh, also no dice. <laughs> I kind of like this next one because Shane Bryant called out Courtney nice. Bryant <laughs> in order for her to make this pose. So Courtney says, Shane Bryant, my girlfriend, and her went. At the end of February, okay, so basically their original flight was delayed. So as they were heading to meet, they decided to change flights and airports. The airport is 90 minutes from the house. We made the plane at noon and got the plane at 2.01. Holy shit. That, that would that's, cause me anxiety. That's, that, that, I might, that's a hole I in might my have stomach. This is how... One of our dear friends, Ellen, yeah, oh, traveled. So. <laughs> I would be too afraid to change flights in general, but they changed to a flight from a different airport. Different yep. airport, yes. They already they changed everything around. Oh, my God. Deirdre Frederick says, uh, going to Port Canaveral for my niece's wedding on a Disney cruise. Rented a car from MCO. Went shopping, ate, drove to port around 9 p.m. at the hotel at Cocoa Beach. Somehow realized we were missing a suitcase, Maria. It was probably oh, yeah. it was probably Hunter like. Green. Uh, <laughs> even though we had taken a photo of all of our luggage before getting on the plane. I've never thought to do that. Uh no, neither have I. I called MCO. Something now that I'm going to do, though. <laughs> we found out that it was still in baggage claim. Luckily, my niece was staying at a hotel near the airport with a shuttle. <laughs> Fucking clutch. <laughs> the shuttle driver was super nice. Drove over to the airport to get the missing suitcase. It was her brother-in-law's who had taken all the luggage off the baggage carousel and somehow <gasps> forgot his own. <laughs> Maria, are you related? Probably. <laughs> in his, I love this. In his defense, my sister probably packed it, and he didn't know what it looked like. My guess, it was hunter yes. green. Probably. Blue. I mean, honestly, though, <laughs> navy blue is the hunter green of the blue family. Yes. Fair. Fair. Accurate. Just, just you, you take navy blue. It's the unsung you hero. Added some yellow to it. Boom! You got hunter green. Yeah. Yep. That's how colors work. There you go. Absolutely. We have a wheel to show for it. It, it told That's us. wheel unfortunate. There was a time that we were heading to Florida. We were already in the car, and we live in Pennsylvania, and the airport's in Jersey, so it's about an hour and a half drive. And we're already halfway there, and we're meeting my parents, who, let's, to put it nicely, are not the easiest people in the world to deal with, and I'm just going to leave uh -huh. it at that at this point. We get halfway to the airport, and Tim thinks that he forgot his wallet. At this point, you don't need anything else to fly. It's not like we had, like, the whatever fucking system that's going into effect. So it's like, all right, go home. You're going to drop me off at the fucking airport. I'm going to fucking Florida. You'll come after. You'll tell him what happened. We'll figure this out, blah, blah, blah. And I'm panicking. But again, he had his wallet. Everything was okay. But it, it's just that second of, like, Oh my god, what the fuck is going on? Now I have to check this every time. And now, again, because of my OCD brain, it only uh -huh. needs to happen once for me to trigger a response. So it's like, do you have your wallet? Are you sure you have your wallet? Do you have your wallet? Are you sure you have your wallet? And it's like, Show yeah, I'm an me rabbit. your wallet. <laughs> Show me your <laughs> ID wallet. in yes. that wallet. Uh, yes. <laughs> no, <laughs> at this point, we have to travel with the passport anyway, because neither of us 
Neither one of us want to pay the $65 to get the real ID from Pennsylvania. Oh, so. God. It was not that expensive here in Arkansas. I have to get it because my passport's expired. <laughs> so it just How expired. expired is it? Uh, no. Last year. Why would it just renew it? Year. You're oh, fine. Okay. Just try to renew it. So, so that's it. I think we get that, that much engagement. That was really actually really cool to have that uh, that many stories shared to us to 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 go through and 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 think wow that was fun that, that was sucked i'm glad i wasn't there <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time uh i i can totally uh relate to walk go, going through a resort and thinking you know how to get out and not knowing how to get out of it <laughs> I've, I've i've done that before yeah yeah all right well that's uh some of our close calls and some close calls from the folks in the facebook group if you've got your own close calls we would definitely like to uh hear those that way we can point and laugh at you next time we see you so uh Absolutely. yeah just jump onto our facebook group facebook.com slash groups slash three sheets to the mouse or just look up three sheets you're already on there anyway you may as well uh join up and uh be a part of it because maybe one day we'll we'll do another of these episodes where we ask hey what happened to you? And then we can air your, uh, your dirty laundry. It's not really dirty. It's it's clean. Maybe soiled slightly. I mean, it's Florida water, so. Uh, that's true. Uh, we got people waiting in line for uh, admittance. Yeah, just a, just a few. Not too many. But yes, I do have to make an entrance. I don't know what kind of language that's from, but I'm assuming that it means entrance. That, that's from Shit's Creek. That sounds like something... That Moira would say. Yep. Yes. Sure. Yep. Probably. <laughs> That's exactly what that sounds like. Yeah, sure. Like. It's fine. Um, yeah, come and join <laughs> us. We have fun. We do shit like this. Play along. <laughs> this was shit. That's what I got. That's good. Yeah, yeah, we do. We, this is this yep. some shit. We did, we did some shit like this. Yep. We did some shit. It's some good shit. This is some of the high, this is some high quality shit right here. High quality shit. Adam, what kind of shit you got? Well, I got a whole bunch of shit. You are full First of off, shit. Uh, did we? Oh, I am full <laughs> of shit, yeah. <laughs> First off, Maria posted the poll, and we didn't get the chance to discuss oh, right. this last week, but yeah, Tim won. I didn't. I didn't see said poll in the DVC Resort Challenge. I mean, I so, think it was congratulations, rigged, Tim. But and your route, no, whatever. Sixty. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was a pretty awesome That's thing. True. I would, I would definitely want to stay at That's the Route Sixty Six Resort. So. Definitely a fun thing there. As for our event and sheet ups, we have Tamara's birthday 40th on the Wish, and that's going to be August 19th to August 26th. And that's obviously on the cruise ship. And then we have, after that, would be Wine and Dine. I haven't made an event page for that. And after that, Maria, yes, you have a special announcement do. for us, don't you? We have our 2022. Uh, Hey. Nope. Oh, fuck. No, nope. You it's fucked 23, it up. sweetie. You done <laughs> fucked it up. <laughs> hey, folks are going to be getting their DeLorean. <laughs> Go back to happier times. Why would you? We... we have our 2023 <laughs> official sheet updates from November 30th to December 3rd. It's just going to be a weekend. Um, just a, Just an extended weekend. We are going to have two events going on, one inside the park and one outside of the park. Um, we are going to do be doing Epcot on December 1st um, in the afternoon. And then we will be doing something at Disney Springs the evening of December 2nd. So if you don't have a park ticket, you can still hang out with us um, in Springs on the 2nd. If you do have a park ticket, Epcot, December 1st. That's where we'll be. Um, we are calling this the Three Sheets Holiday Hijinks because all the Christmas decorations will be up. So I'm excited. It's my favorite time there to visit. And all the really fun uh, ho yeah. holiday 
Oh God! The and the merch. festival of the holidays. Mm -hmm. I never buy any of it, but I love looking at it. It's always just so much fun. And then also like all, all the fun uh, sweets mm -hmm. they roll out for the holidays and stuff like that. And then that. Maria gets to go to our most hated park and see I do love all it the Christmas during stuff. The Christmas stuff. I love that Merry Menagerie. Those fucking puppets are the cutest. It's still my but least you favorite still part. Hate it. But those puppets are the fucking cutest things ever. It's, it's not most. most I don't hate it. It's just my least liked, <laughs> but I still love it. It's still better um, than like, I don't. It's, it's not, your most hated. It's, no, it's, it's. Yeah, it's your most hated. It's, it's not your least hated. Dorney Park is hated more than Animal Kingdom. <laughs> That's not saying. a Disney park. Good try. Anyway, <laughs> cheaters are finally making it to the West Coast in January 2024. And that is sort of the run Disney event. So we will have some sort of thing. Try to plan it. I, again, it's way far out. And there's way too much going on before that. But it's happening. So for all you West Coast cheaters, we are finally making it out there. <laughs> That'll be great. It's going to be awesome. And I think that's all I have. <laughs> Thanks for listening to us uh, this evening. It, uh, it's always fun to hear how other people run into issues in, in Disney and how we do it and, and getting over it and getting through it and making the best out of it so uh, a lot of trips coming up so this is not goodbye this is see you really real soon so good night good night good night and thank you